Hello everyone, my name is Lexo and continuing our streak of Beast Formers, today we're taking a look at Transformers Beast Wars reissue Pterosaur. Pterosaur here is a red pterodactyl with green highlights, unlike his cartoon counterpart, which had black highlights. So, yay! Inconsistency. Inconsistencies aside, let's talk about his articulation. Nothing at the body. It is completely stiff. His head can look up that far and look down that far. And you can open his mouth that far. You can, and you can make him look like as if he's screaming at people at something. <coughs> and his feet move because of transformation. Not much. If you move it too much, you'll, you'll disconnect. You'll untap it. Size-wise, he's pretty small. From nose to tail, he's around five inches, and he has a wingspan of five and a half. For comparison, I have some other Beast Formers, Beast Wars figures at least. You can see, it varies. Since he's a basic, he, he matches well with other basic figures, but not so much with the Deluxes, like, like Cybertruck here. One last look, there's the top, there's the bottom, there's the Terra butt and the Terra face. Ah! That out of the way, let's transform him and check out his robot. And there is Pterosaur in his robot mode. Now, Pterosaur looks really cool in his robot mode. I really do dig it. A lot more black gets revealed and some blue highlights in the shins and in the hands. You'll see in a little bit. And in the head. Other than that, it's still the same, same red, same dinosaur. He still has a dinosaur on his back. But I really do dig it. Um, again, with the inconsistencies. This doesn't look a whole lot like the cartoon. Like I said, the green spots are supposed to be black. And he has more more silver on him. A lot more silver, actually. None of the black and blue is on the show. And especially that head. Uh, going, take a closer look at the head. Uh, I don't remember the, the, the cartoon head being so round. And it wasn't blue. I'll tell you that he does have the white face. I think, but I think at the cartoon it was silver. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But it's a really nice head sculpt. Either way, I still like it. I still like the head sculpt. Um, can't really tell because I think the the white is too thick on his face. Hold up, let me. There, you can see he has lips right there. He has lips. Yeah, uh, he stands at around four inches tall, but from the tip of the ter pterosaur, pterodon head, it's he's around five inches tall. And as you can see, he has trouble standing. All of his joints are ball joints, so ball jointed head. Can do a full 360, but I got fat fingers. It's very hard to do it. He could look in that far in his own chest and up almost nothing. His arms are on the ball joints of 4360, ball jointed elbows, and loose ball joints. And his hands are on a hinge because of transformation. Nothing at the waist. Legs can go forward that much and back that much. And he can do the full spread. Um, above the knee rotation because of the ball joint around 9 degrees of bent and a hinge at the foot because of transformation so he has pretty good articulation thing is I don't know if it's because of mold degradation or because it's been 
a long time since the last time he's been used, but his joints are a little bit loose. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I actually used napkins, uh, p scraps, and put them in the his his ball joints at the hips because they were incredibly loose. So so very loose. He has a gun, and it's cleverly hidden away. It stores up here and can be stored as well in vehicle mode in his alt mode. So just take it out. Bam. There it is. And then just flip it up and there is his tiny, tiny little pistol. You know, it's not the size that matters. It's how you use it. <laughs> so <laughs> there's his little tiny pistol. And yeah. Oh Christ. For comparison. Here is here he is with some other Beast Wars figures. So as you can see, he's definitely smaller than a deluxe class. You know, as well like he was back in beast mode. And with other basic classes, I think he's also a little bit smaller. It's hard to tell from my angle. You know, crazy bolt and bump over here. They're around the same size. You know, both of these are basic classes, but like I said before, deluxe class, Cyber Shark here towers over Pterosaur. In conclusion, I really do like Pterosaur here. He's small, he's fun, and he's just enjoyable all around. He's fun. I said, I already said fun. But go get him. Uh, one thing, be wary of, do not pay full price for this guy. He is not worth 30 bucks retail at Walmart. Screw that. They are out of Hasbro's out of their mind for raising their prices on these guys. Don't even think about it. ICU, ICU, no, don't, don't, don't get your credit card. Don't get don't pull out your wallet. No. Put it back. Put it back. Um luckily for me, my Walmart was had a bunch of these guys, so they just never sold. So I got him on clearance for around half off. Give or take a little bit. But yeah, half off price. He's good. He's pretty awesome. Go get Thank him. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. If there's anything you want to say or anything that I didn't mention, leave a comment down there as well. And if you enjoy what I'm making and want to see more, consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. That has been Beast Wars Reissue Pterosaur. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.